If I'm going to pick a fight with you, the least you can do is fight back. Oh, you can't help it. What do you mean I can't help it? You can't help being impetuous, stubborn, impulsive. You're a typical <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> All right, all those who can't sleep into the middle of the room, please. Oh, hi, Rod. We are having a living room picnic. Come, Rita, I'll show you what we're having. It's 2.30 in the morning, right? This is your husband? Oh, yeah. please. Now, here we have a clean tablecloth. I washed it myself. Also a candle, that's for atmosphere. Cold cuts for sandwiches. And one admittedly old pickle. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I would rather he who can think of food at a time like this is wiser than the owls in the trees. Here. He went to college. You know, I heard that. No. Well, we've been up for, you know. <laughs> Since uh, before we went to bed? I think it's in the 90s out there. I've never been so hot. Has to be 80 at least. Oh. North is giving me an illustrated lecture of the stars. There. Oh, yeah? Movie stars? No, no, no. It's uh, how to get in a fight with your wife. <laughs> hey, how's Rachel? Well, I, I think she's all right. Did she get home to the Carsons okay? Well, I talked to Elliot tonight. He didn't say much, though. Yeah. Ew. Oh, well, at least so long as she's home safe, that's all that's important. Do you realize who you're sitting next to? Madame Zingali. She can predict the future by the stars. Never mind. Well, really, she's like one of those little machines you put in a penny and you get your weight and you get a little card back. Is he giving you a bad time, Rita? He's trying to. He thinks astrology's a bunch of junk. Oh, don't you? No, I mean, well, just take you two, for instance. You got the same heredity and the same bringing up, and... Well, just look how different you are. Uh, it, I think you got a point there. Yeah. yeah. Like the point on your head. <laughs> a toast. The fault, dear Brutus, lies not in the stars, but in ourselves. Hear, hear! I like that one. You hear that one? Do you really think so? Sure. Don't you? I mean, I think we're responsible for our own acts. All right. Except when I think of that character over there, I wonder. You know, Norman, I think you were just born lucky, that's all. I was born impetuous, stubborn, and what else did you call me? Oh, lovable, loyal, friendly, courteous. Lucky. You were born lucky. You were lucky to find a girl like that, and you were wise enough to hold on to her. We weren't lucky, it's just because our signs matched. Listen, call her what you want to. You held on to her. You didn't let her slip through your fingers like... like your older brother's been known to do. Would you like to talk about it, Rod? Oh, no. I, no, I don't want to talk about it. Good. Yeah. You know, I was, I was thinking tonight as I was closing up the garage. I was thinking about Allison. I was remembering times that, that she and I had had together. Times when we walked on the beach. And, and then it, it dawned on me how much she and, and Rachel were alike. How their lives seemed to be so close in so many ways. I... I must love both. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, a, a brother comes over here to talk to his brother and his sister-in-law, and this is, the, this is what happens. That's, I think that's terrific. I think that's terrific. I appreciate this, and I'm allowed to come over here at any time and talk to you about my troubles. You're rude. You understand that? Rude. Uh, uh Norman. Norman, Norman, I, uh, I kicked over the, the candle and, uh, I, I set the tablecloth on fire and now the carpet's on fire. Oh! 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 Oh!